the more that we're attacked in the physical, the less we rely on our strength and our knowledge in the spiritual. Gosh, it is just amazing. I am, I'm blown away. I am just blown away. And look, as I, I try to be compassionate, but you know, I'm, I'm more of a person that tries to help people see the strength that they have inside of them, and not to just to have them hunker down into something that's going to fall away. And when God has told us that the new is going to be, it's going to become revealed to us, and then the old is going to pass away, I just, I just can't do this. When I have a, when I have a revelation that we are living in a prologue, which is about yea long, and God has revealed to us <laughs> chapter one, which is going to, which is this long, and your story goes on for eternity, I, I just can't just sit back. And just just accept that what's happening in this prologue is the end of the story. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. If you want to call me un incompassionate, that's fine. If you want to call me just just totally be unsympathetic, that's fine. Uh, look, God gave me an amazing revelation. He gave me a revelation of His heart. But most importantly, when I started in my faith walk, my faith faith is the beginning. It is the introduction. To knowledge people think that so many people think that our walk with God is all faith that's not true hundred percent not true faith is an introduction to getting to know something and when you walk in the knowledge of something it becomes a foundation and that's when you're unshaken by anything that can possibly deceive you from that from that particular course this coronavirus thing that's going on right now is strictly an attack on our physical the old will pass away <laughs> everything is going to be made new revelation says i make all things new you know what that means in greek that means all things new so we are not walking to the end of our lives we're walking to the beginning of chapter one we're just in a prologue here and our confidence and our assurance for what he has provided to us is not only going to help us walk in this the confidence to know that we're overcoming, but it also helps us become ministers for the truth, for who he is, and for what he's already provided for us. One of the most popular verses in the Bible is, By his stripes we are healed. I like the version of 1 Peter where he says, it says it differently. He says, by stripes, we were healed. Past tense. It means it's done. And Jesus said, it's finished. God has done everything. And when God has done everything, if something comes at us in the flesh, I know in my heart of hearts that it's not going to stop us. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. Paul said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Where did he say that verse? I'll give you a second here. Pause it and come back to me. And tell me where he said it. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Did I hear in prison? You're absolutely right. In prison. And here we are in our homes. In many places across the world, I know that in 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 homes that are probably different from other places. But you know what? We're not in a prison. We are living strictly in an existence that is a precursor for a life that God has already provided for us. An eternal life through Christ begins the instant you accept him. The instant you accept him. Fullness in the spirit is when we have absolutely no physical sights coming out our way. But we walk in the fullness instantly when we accept him. We instantly become a child of God. So when something comes at us in the physical here, are we knee-jerking back to how the world tells us how we're supposed to? Think about this here. This, the world comes at us through volume. The world screams at us. God doesn't scream. He whispers. God whispers. 
And this is the wonderful thing about our Father is because he manifested himself in the physical before. In Exodus, he brought manna down from heaven. He brought a pillar of fire down. He just parted the Red Sea. People still didn't believe. People keep asking for God to manifest himself in the physical. We didn't believe him back then. Why would we believe it now? Especially with the advent of technology and science, we can always find more excuses now to dismiss it. The faith of God is the spark. Many times we, can't, we just can't understand and accept that. It's a whisper. God speaks in a whisper. But the most important thing of all is faith is an introduction into the knowledge of who we are in Christ. Faith is the introduction. When we, when we, when we know in God, at that point, we cannot be shaken. Faith is just the beginning. Knowledge helps us grow in the understanding. And when we know something to be true, we can't be shaken from it. This coronavirus and everything that comes at us from the physical, I don't care what it is, money, um, housing, food, clothing, I don't care what it is, all of this will fall away. None of this is gonna become permanent, none of it. We walk in the revelation of the love that he shows us through his son. He did it because he loves us that much. And when you walk in revelation of the spirit for who we are in him, we walk in that truth and that knowledge and that joy because he's always with us and nothing can shake us from now. That joy is not only our strength as the Bible teaches us, but in his presence is the fullness of joy. And we cannot be shaken or taken from his hand. No one can take him, take us from him. So I say, let the world throw everything it has at me. If I get this coronavirus and by some weird circumstance that I go from it, that I just that I die, my body goes away, I get to be with Jesus Christ. I win. If I don't get it, then I continue to preach the goodness of the heart of Jesus Christ to the world, I win. If I get the coronavirus and I beat it through my, my body's immune system, then I overcome it, I win. I win, I win, I win. I can't lose. And guess what? Neither can you, regardless of what the world tells you, regardless of what the news tells you. Listen to what God tells you. What he says is life. What the news tells you is opinion. And it's opinion that about 99% of the time has God out of the equation. That's all I say tonight. God bless you all. Have a great night. Peace be with you. And may the joy of the Lord just fill your heart to the top. Love you all. Good night.